you doing? Come on in and meet the ladies. You know, I mean, there's a, and there's a lot of them, so I hope you're ready for all this. <laughs> there's a lot of women. I think, um, first I'll introduce the situation in terms of why and how that I became fixated with adults with uh, creating all these dolls. Um, it started probably as a youth. I love, I love designing. I love creating. Um, I like, I used to love making my own doll clothes. So that was one of my, one of the sensations of being able to get some fabric and uh, seeing what I can create based on my own imagination. And as you can see, I have a lot of imagination. These are probably 125 of, um, of 336 that I have that's just on this first floor. And you look so right here, a lot of them, and you can see they're, they have their moods and it's almost hard to walk through here because you'll see uh, some of them are look like they're ready to pick a fight and you have some of their smiles, some of them are wondering. So I, I believe that a lot of their their expressions, it might surface from what I might have really felt at that time, but all in all, it's, it comes down to um, the fashion and sometimes the dolls will represent a different theme or something in history that I want to convey. and. And so their outfits will correlate with, you know, with that. But, you know, I had like this particular dolls where there's some dolls, they, they, they took part in slavery, but it's surprising some dolls, they fare different from, you know, some, not so many dolls, people fare different on the plantations than others. You had like your field hands and you had some who worked in, was raised on the plantation. And life wasn't as bleak to them. You know, so I had showing that, and then I had the dolls which she actually toiled a little bit more, and the ones in the cotton fields, and then I had, you know, where the plantation owner, and and it's like and showing the one who took care of the, you know, the uh, the Mrs. Children. These are my dance. These represent dancers. You know, I dancing. I love dancing assiduously. It's one of the, you know, it's like if anything, I was going to it was like the greatest of great when it comes to dancing. That's how. I had pictured myself anyway. And so these dolls represent my heart song. You know, the dance, singing, and you know, the, as a young girl, you know, ballet, and and this video, the old dance teacher who's seeing one of her prize students, you know, up there, and you know, gone to see her recital. So that's that's what she represents. That that school teacher who was out there. She's her feet are kind of even posed, you know, where you know, dance because there's something about. The elegance of being a, a, a dancer is very serious about, you know, dancing, be it classical or jazz. And I love to dance. And this, I think she's another one of my most favorite dancers. She's my historian. And um, so she, a lot of times when I'm telling the story, the story, she'll be the host of, you know, of that. This little girl represents who, some uh, little girl who has won a spelling con essay contest. So I, you know, it's like a and it could have been seeing the, the lace fabric and all that just so accentuated the, you know, the, the, the outfit. And, and she says the doll that's hosting for Kwanzaa. These are big going to a Kwanzaa party. They're, um, you know, so they were dressed festively. These are sisters. She's a judge. She's a judge. And she's a environmentalist. And some of the models. And she, her name is uh, Madison Cochran. And when I tell her story, I have, usually have uh, Rodney King in the background, you know, in commemoration to Mr. Johnny Cochran. So I want to be able to show my work because it's, 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 it's been an endearment to me. I'm at 336, albeit I have made thousands of dolls, and I like that because it's like it, 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 gives, it gives a wowie to it. It gives us like, wow. I'm hoping, like I said, if I can get a museum and a stationery and I can perform and show my art and just be Carmaya.